we're at war and many people don't even realize it. We're in a economic war and it is on a personal level, it's on a national level, it's on an international level and many people don't understand why we're at war and the consequences of this war. Right now, I want you to reframe and there will be some folks who will get upset because I'm going to be talking about guns and bullets. And there are some folks that ah, that's goofy. Ah, he's putting a gun in the thumbnails. Yes, I did, because I want to drive home a point. Each dollar you have is a bullet. OK. And your gun are your streams of revenue. So in this battle, if you don't have any bullets and currently we have 40 some million people out of work who have no economic gun, they're going to lose this war. See, what I want you to think about is each dollar is a bullet and you want to have three to four guns for this economic war. So that means you're going to need more in your job. You're going to need to get a service business, which or a business which go below, get 30 days to $2,500. The hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. Go ahead and get that. So you can participate in this economic war. Because see, this is the thing that is missing so many people. There are people out here who feel because I don't want to play the game. They don't understand that the game's going to play them. See, this ain't optional if you live in the United States of America. Van Life, once again, check out the YouTube channel, Invisible People. Check out Soft White Underbelly. Check those channels out because that is what can happen to you if you don't play in this economic, if you don't participate in the economic war. Right now, over half of the homeless people in America live in California. And right now, we're having an escalating homeless van life car living population because they have no bullets and they have no guns. And there are many, many people who don't understand this because, you know, right now I have, let me see, I've got a lot of bullets, but how many guns do I have? Hustlers Kung Fu, Disruptive Mail, B-School for Hustlers, Savage Finance, Hustlers Kung Fu. So right now I have five guns in this economic war. I have five revenue streams. So, and I'm about to add two more because the more guns you have in this economic war, the better you off. And most folks don't know that we at war because they're living their lives. They're just doing what they're doing. They're out there enjoying the life and see in the preparation for war, you must know that you're being attacked. And how are you being attacked? Well, there's this thing called inflation. In 1982, I got a job at sign builders making $6 and 50 cents an hour. 1982, almost 30 years ago. Right now, what is minimum wage? Seven fifty. So my six fifty back then, adjusted for inflation, would be like almost fifteen bucks an hour. Right now, It'd be like twelve bucks an hour. So back then, I was making more money than you. If you're making minimum wage, I want you to understand this is the war. The inflation is part of the war games. What else is happening? Part of the economic war? You ain't getting a raise. Oh, you got a little pat on the head. You got you a cost of living increase of 1.5%. Ooh, you just tread water. See, you got to understand that there is a war on your money. There is a war on your income. There is a war on your way of life. And if you do not participate in the economic warfare by increasing your income and fighting these dastardly deeds, um, it ain't going to look so good for you. 
it's not going to look really good for you because once again, in the economic war, you need to be armed for battle. You need to be trained for battle. What is the training? Making more money, understanding money, managing your money, having the proper banking. I am surprised at the number of business owners who don't have proper banking, who don't have proper corporate LLC structure, and they're participating in the economic war, but they're not, they don't, they don't have their guns set up. Their ammunition's kind of funky. Their ammunition's wet. They're not really playing in this game because see, so many people don't understand. I don't want to play the game. I just want to be left alone. I want to do what I want to do and I don't want to participate. Here's the thing. If you live in the United States of America, the economic war includes you whether you choose to participate or not. Really? He was like, they ain't true. Oh, really? Th these 40 million people who got laid off recently, these businesses that are closing, they're being impacted by this economic war. They don't want to play, but they're being impacted. Their income's being eradicated. So if you want to understand the situation, because many, many, many years ago, I used to be just like you. I didn't understand about the economic war. I didn't understand the tools of war. I didn't understand about guns and bullets. I just was a guy going to my J-O-B, providing for my family. I didn't have a clue to the dark storms, the dark clouds of this economic war. I had no clue until I hit the bricks and I woke up. I was like Neo out in the matrix. I was ejected. I took the red pill. I began to understand the game. I began to understand the warfare. Cause see, in these wars, you, you're thinking of bombs and missiles. It ain't, that ain't the war, man. The war is a, a war on your income. It's a war on your way of life. And this is what's happening right now. And there are so many people who don't understand what is going on. They're completely oblivious. They don't understand. Cause like right now you're thinking I'm a nurse and nurses are making some really good change right now. So I don't need to participate in the economic war. I don't know about that because if you lose your job, cause nurses and doctors are being furloughed for the first time that I can recollect. So even doctors and nurses and people who work in hospitals are not immune against the ravages of war. I want you to think about that. If someone 20 years ago told you like a doctor would be laying off or a furloughed or nurses, they'd been like, close your ass, you crazy. But it happened. School teachers are being furloughed. Police officers are being furloughed. Fire firefighters are being furloughed. These so-called essential services because See, the war front is mounting really heavily on your state. Insurance, the unemployment insurance fund is running out of money. So while you hanging out with Big Booty Betty, while you hanging out with Sexy Susan, and you getting your benefits and you feel secure because magically each week money shows up in your checking account, whether you've done anything or not, that's temporary. That's like a ceasefire for you in this economic war. See, once you understand that we're at war and you need to fight, that's 50% of the game. So many people don't understand that they need to fight. So many people are like looking for cheap rent, trying to live in the cheapest rent. And th th once again, you might as well just become a prisoner of war because your children will be prisoners of war. Your children will suffer the ravages that you try to avoid because one of the things that you got to understand, baby, you got to get some bullets. You got to get some guns, not a gun, but guns. And it's kind of funny. I actually have five weapons up in my house and I actually have five guns in this warfare and I'm about to get two more because the more streams of income that you have, the easier it is for your Kung Fu to be powerful, 
for you to thrust and parry because let's say you got five sources of income, two of them go down, you still got three guns, fuck, pop, pop, pew, 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 pew. You're still firing, you're still like, ah, you ain't getting me, you like Will Smith, like, ah, you winning. You, 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 you taking hostages, you taking, you, you taking casualties of war, you getting the spoils of war. Because so many people don't understand what is a bullet, what is a gun, and so many people are out here using their bullets for fun. They're not sitting on their bullets. They're not, they're, they're like, oh, I'm gonna fire three bullets to go to Six Flags. I'm gonna fire some bullets to go to Disney World. I'm gonna fly some bullets to go to a steamboat and go skiing. Shoo, shoo, shoo. And then at the end of the day, when they come back from these experiences and these vacations, they're like, what's all that shooting out here outside? Cause see the war is everywhere. It's not just like in the poor neighborhoods where the war front is heavy. There's a lot of casualties in the poor neighborhoods, but the war is everywhere. In my neighborhood, these folks got three, four, five, six, 12, 16 guns. They ready, they ready. But ask yourself, do you even know if there's a war going on? Do you even understand what's going on? Do you understand the Fed just talked about we're, we may have negative interest rates to 2022? Oops, there goes that V-shaped recovery. And people like, have faith, have faith. I don't operate on faith. I operate on facts. And the facts is, I got bullets, and I got guns, and I'm participating in this economic war. And you should too. Because if you do not participate in this economic war, you will become a casualty of war and you'll be sent to the slave camps where you're gonna be working. Because it's funny, you didn't wanna take your time and work hard to start a business, but now you're doing heavy manual label labor for 50 cents an hour because you're in the war camps. Matter of fact, you may even got 50 cents an hour. You may get just some gruel and a, a, a place to sleep in a thin little mattress with fleas jumping all over you at night with no hot water. No, you're, you're, you're in a war camp. You are a casualty of war. You are a war slave and your lifestyle will reflect your status. That's what's going to happen. And uh, I do all these economic videos. I do all these things about employment. And many, many people were really surprised to understand what these long-term layoffs do to future income. They were like shocked because each time I talk about it, the video stops and people are like, what did he say? See, when you become a casualty of war, you don't count anymore. No one cares about you. That time when I was homeless and everything, no one gave a damn about me. It was me, just me, not participating in the economic war, hoping things would get better. It's a war going on. Right now, there's all kinds of nukes, bullets and stuff flying around and you just sitting there like, I'm living my life. I don't wanna be bothered. My suggestion for you is to pick up a gun and go out and get yourself two, three more guns and go ahead and get yourself some warfare training. Now, how does one prepare for war? First thing, like I said, 50% of the war is knowing that there is a war. The second thing is to get the tools of war. And one of the worst things you can have in this economic war is debt. A lot of debt will make you a war slave. You're already a slave, you're a debt slave. And this is one of the things that's going to harm you in your future, in the future of your children. So understand, we're at war. The United States of America, China, the UK, Germany, everybody's at war. You got it? Good. So this is what you do to start participating in this war. Go below, get 30 days to 2,500. Go below, get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success, and start getting your bullets, man, and getting your guns set up, 
and get in this war and start shooting and winning. You got to start shooting. You got to aim good, take your best shot and keep fighting. Because this economic war, if you don't participate, you will become a war hostage, a prisoner of war and a debt slave. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, that ain't a good look. It's not a good look. So with that, there should be another video here. Be sure to check it out.